Hi everybody, it's July 12, 2018. YouTube is fighting conspiracy theories with authoritative context and outside links. A few days ago, I put in the search bar on YouTube words that I used to search not too long ago, but it might have been a year or two years ago. Global warming hoax, conspiracy, or um, documentaries. Global warming fraud, documentaries. And all of the documentaries that I came up with a year or two years ago that I had on a playlist on uh, Kafka Winston World, I couldn't find. Virtually every video was promoting global warming as the truth. They are getting rid of truth. I am posting this video to urge everybody to download important videos because soon enough you will not be able to find them. So before I get into some of the details about what YouTube and Facebook are doing, for global warming, for climate change, please go to this channel, Thousand Frawley. He's still at it. Years, or she's still at it. I'm sorry. I don't know. Um, years. This channel has been posting very important videos on the global warming, climate change, fraud. Authoritative videos. Professors. Reporters. Journalists. Nobel laureates. Climatology is a joke. Nobel laureate. Nobel laureate. Man-made global warming is pseudo-science. And professors. Please download these videos because soon enough you're not going to find any truth. 25 NASA scientists question the sanity of the global warmists. Okay. And it goes on and on and on. So this is one channel with videos that clearly should, at the very least, anybody who's believing in this global warming climate change scam. And yes, we have heat waves, we've got flash flooding, we've got fires, we've got mainstream media reporters claiming, oh, it's climate change, it's global warming. And we have, we have articles like this. Soon every weather event could become a state of emergency unprecedented two-week rainstorm devastated Japan and killed almost 200 people. Climate change is part of the reason we never experienced this kind of rain before. Nobody will look into geoengineering, weather modification. Nope. They think that they're just brilliant when they call you a nut job, crazy, you're a conspiracy theorist. They haven't done any of the research. They don't get they can't even get that, hey, I haven't done any of the research to um, check out what this person is saying to me. And if I haven't done any research to check it out, then, well, I certainly can't just call them a conspiracy theorist. I've got to check it out for myself, right? No, we don't have those people anymore. We have people who cannot think for themselves. They allow their leaders, their mainstream media reporters, they allow these scientists on the intergovernmental panel, it's not an inter-science panel, it's not an international science panel on climate change, no, it's an intergovernmental panel on climate change. It's a panel, United Nations panel, where they are developing policy, not science, but they claim that these people are scientists, and yes, they have scientists on these panels, and they 
publish papers and journals filled with lies. Mis All of this has been exposed, but they don't care about what has been exposed. They just care about, leave me alone. I like the lies. The lies allow me to just live a very comfortable life, doing the same old, same old. The truth, I'm sorry, it's just too demanding. It requires time and energy. It requires me to do some critical thinking. It requires of me, oh, maybe a change in my, the way I'm living. It might even require of me to do something about what is taking place. It might even open the door to realize that, oh God, these people are telling us that we're at war and they're using the technology to create these weather events. Well, if we're at war, does that mean that I have to do something like become maybe, you know, someone who is like those conspiracy theorists who try to educate people about the truth about what is taking place? Oh, I don't want any of that, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to be a seventh grade bully and yell insults at them. You know, like all of those Clinton supporters. You're a Nazi. You're a misogynist. Uh, you're a hater. Yeah. Well, that's what we have today. And this is an unnamed Japanese weather official speaking to the BBC. Unnamed. Unnamed. Why? Why can't he be named? Why? Uh, doesn't that beg questions? He's talking about climate change. So, why can't he be named? Something's very wrong here. So, what could be wrong? It could be that mainstream media is simply lying about an official, a Japanese official, a weather official. They're lying. They just need to come out and say this because, hey guys, you got to believe what they're saying because you, you need to listen to your authority figures and you've got to, you have to make all of the changes that your authority figures are asking you to, but soon enough it will be mandated. All of those changes that will affect every aspect of your life and gut, gut your financial resources. Upgrade your houses. Get rid of those old appliances. Get those energy saving appliances that spy on you, have sensors in them, but you've got to do it because, well, you're creating the heat wave. You're creating this global warming. Get rid of those cars. Move into the mega regions where you're riding a bicycle or using public transportation. Because you are the reason for all of this. Well, guess what? An awful lot of authority figures say that's all a hoax. Nobel laureate smashes the global warming hoax. Okay. Well, what YouTube is doing is um, it's going to add authoritative context to search results about conspiracy prone topics like the moon landing, Oklahoma City bombing. They're putting 25 million toward news outlets producing videos. Uh, it's uh, this new step, Google News Initiative. They launched their program in March, but the update is focused on reducing misinformation on YouTube including the conspiracy theories that have flourished after events like the Parkland shooting. The update includes new features for breaking news updates and long-standing conspiracy theories. Um, they are going to annotate conspiracy-related pages with text from trusted sources like Wikipedia, Encyclopedia Britannica. Really, trusted sources, Wikipedia. Well, all you have to do is do a little bit of research to find out that Wikipedia is not a trusted source. You'll find a lot of articles, people writing that they, uh, Wikipedia, uh, so much misinformation and lies 
And when people have tried to correct those lies or misinformation, they're not permitted. They're not permitted. Even when a conspiracy theory is proven to be a conspiracy fact, Wikipedia writes words like alleged, thought to be, okay, not trusted. Um, so what, this is really quite, quite, um, sorry. Listen to this. YouTube will supplement search results with links to news articles, reasoning that rigorous outlets often publish text before producing video. Really, rigorous outlets. They often publish text like CNN, MSNBC, CBS, NBC, CBS. Don't they come out immediately breaking news? Their videos. Oh, they're not the low quality videos that we upload. No, they're the polished videos. Breaking news. And they report misinformation. They report wrong information. But it's mainstream media, so they get to do it. We, if we get something wrong, we don't get to do it. Um, they are drowning truth. It's being killed off. Um, <laughs> they, they write, it's harder to make an authoritative video about a developing story. Well, the authority figures, you know, your government officials and your mainstream media reporters and unfortunately, we still have people who just can't think for themselves and allow, and allow those authority figures to think for them. It's funding a number of partnerships, establishing a working group that will provide input on how it handles news, and it's providing money for sustainable video operations. Wow, sustainable. Um, it's expanding its internal support team and investing money in digital literacy programs for teenagers exploit those kids. It's recruiting prominent YouTube creators to promote the cause. What cause? The elimination of truth. There's an awful lot of YouTube videos on YouTube with these teenagers who have been so used to promote gun control, global warming. It's, uh, it's sad. It's sad to see so many adults who don't give a shit about children and they use them for their own cause. So um, get ready for your annotations on your conspiracy theory videos. Facebook, fiction checking, conservative news, confusing fiction with fact as they fiction check conservative sites into oblivion. PJ Media article was wrongly labeled fake news and then deprioritized, which, yes, it is a euphemistic way of saying you're banished to Facebook Siberia. You know, look, oh, God. Um, the reason why we're losing this war is because we've got way too many of our fellow Americans or fellow citizens, regardless of what country you live in, who are not responsible adults. They just can't grow up and they will continue to listen to their quote-unquote authority figures. And their authority is within the matrix. The mainstream media reporters, the mainstream media journalists, government officials, and people working for the cause. Please Oh, by the way, I just want to tell you, Facebook deletes part of Declaration of Independence as hate speech removes post. Okay. You know, I just want to show you. 
you can download the free YouTube downloader and you can download any video on YouTube very quickly and easily so please download download the important videos the truth has to be saved guys and then I suggest putting it on an external hard drive because they've got back doors into every one of your computers this is the world that we are living in this is reality to all of those who just will claim that oh my god she's such a nut job she's mentally ill she needs to get on medication she needs to up her medication she's a conspiracy theorist when you get people who behave like that please know please know that you are doing what is right and they are behaving in a way that is so grossly wrong understand that what you are doing is on the side of good and what they are doing is on the side of evil because it is these people who allow who allow these incredibly psychopathic narcissistic twisted evil people who have no conscience at all these are the people who allow them to continue destroying life so while it's hard to continually get slammed because well look these are the people who are within the masses you stand out that's a good thing just being the same as everyone else in the world that's not a good thing they get a lot of support for their position but their support is from the Walmart masses. All links are below.